All right. Let's try to get the second member online. It's not listed here under pending gateways. But you see here, I have a brand new one and it's dot two. So I actually don't have the default IP address. I don't know if this is an issue or not. We will see. But uh, dot two is uh, what I put it on. So it's not interfering with dot one that I'm already using. The first thing that we can just try to do is to uh, reboot the box. So we will do like this. Just log in and uh, reboot it. This was not factory reset to, to this one. It was clearly installed. And so that's why it still have like admin password, the IP address. So let's see if that is good enough, so to say. Uh, and if that doesn't work, my plan is to just factor reset it. But my worrying of this is that it will be an IP conflict. So I'm quite interested on this actually. See if it's how it works, if it will work. If this doesn't work, more or less when it says here, press any key for boot menu. I'm planning to just go to factory reset here because then it's like it will be shipped with R82 because it has already been installed with R82 once. So it should have that option. At least I hope so. So hopefully it comes up here. If it doesn't, we need to figure out why. And um, by the way, I fixed, so it's working now with uh, DNS. So the issue why it was not working with DNS from this box was because uh, the hide net was set to .10 because it was the cluster IP and not the dedicated gateway IP. And within the new Elastic Excel, you, s you see it's not the like a, a cluster Excel IP. The IP that is listed here is what's on the box. So that's why. Yeah, so it's, it's working to ping Google here and if we do uh, the IP address, it works as well. You see here that we have this one and this one. So it's two different boxes. We see here after the reboot, we now have pending gateway. So this is the new one. It's requesting to join. The default option, if you have it within the same site, is to add it to the existing site. Meaning they sit next to each other. You want to use them with load sharing. So I did a clean install. We fixed the first box. Then we just reboot that. And now it should be possible to add to the existing site. Add. Member is progressing. So let's see how long this takes, what happens, what we can see. Is there places to see this? Yes, there is a CLI command that you can run to, to see more of these things. Would be nice to see some progress here. I don't know what's happening. So if we go into this one, there is a command called insights. Uh, okay. Insight only support with at least. Okay. So if I do like this then. So we see here that we have Um, ID number two, it's lost, not really sure what it's doing, 
but we can go to uh let's see how we toggle uh, click arrows here okay so we just use the arrows on the keyboard here we see here so here we start the first joining cluster process clone successfully join the cluster this is three minutes ago let's see if it happens more stuff let's see here I guess we just give it time so we take down this one I'm going to do it like this it really doesn't uh, like when I um, change resolutions. But we see that the cluster is forming because we see a lot of information from member number two. It says here, zero two, that's member number two. So uh, configure cloning, reboot not required, successfully. Let's see if this has changed. So this has changed now. Um, so when it comes to like information like this and to see like how is your, your environment doing, um, yes, of course, everyone should know like the CLI commands and uh, be aware of it. You shouldn't play with stuff like this if you're not aware what you're doing. But honestly, some of this stuff, it should be in this GUI when you add it. Because it more or less, it go from not anything to, okay, now we have one more. What actually happens when you add an additional node? Well, first of all, it copies all like the... Um, the software, meaning the hotfixes. So if you have a hotfix installed on box number one, it will be copied over to number two. It also copy all the configuration. So the recommendation is of course to prep all the configuration on node number one, meaning have your DNS and the key, your interface, everything like that working. And then you add a member. And the member need to be emptied. So what I did was uh, do a clean install. It didn't show up directly. I just forced the reboot on the box. And when it was forced to reboot, it came into this uh, cluster management. And as a pending gateway, and I was able to add it. Do I need to do anything within the within this one? No, not really. Uh, because the gateway itself here. You don't see uh, that you have multiple members because the management server is actually not aware that it's multiple gateways or multiple boxes. It thinks that it's one box. Um, so that's why it's a normal gateway object. And if you do changes on this, it's replicated across the cluster. So we see here, this is the cluster, cluster management. Are we able to log into this one? Can we do changes? Yeah, we can remove it, we can reboot it. But it should act as one box more or less. Of course, we can just try to install the policy just to make sure that everything is hunky-dory. Do we see that it's multiple members within the cluster here? No. Do we see that we have multiple gateways in some inventory here? No. So is this a problem that you don't see that you have multiple boxes? I don't know. We should try. So what I'm thinking is like, okay, what happens if one of the boxes loses one or two of the interfaces does it show in the GUI 
or do we need to check in CLI or do we need to have monitoring that is correct to, to be able to notice this? We should try. As you see here in the management console, if we go into somewhere here, we don't see that it's multiple boxes. I don't have multiple boxes on the gateways and servers. So, for example here, I don't see the CPU usage. I don't see if it's red, green, or yellow. If I press on this one, do I see that it's multiple boxes? I don't know. Hardware sensors. I don't know. For me, I don't see that. Uh, was it correct for me to do like this? I mean, this is not really gateway one. Does it have multiple ones? So I'm thinking like this. If you have a normal cluster, you see all the members here. You see the CPU, you see the memory, you see the interfaces, you see license status. You see a lot of information within the, within the console. If you don't have it here in the console, will it show up if I kill an interface? Will it show up if I don't have license on one of the box, but on the rest of the boxes? Will it show up if I fill like the log disk on one box? Or do I need to take care of this within a monitoring tool? How much am I able to see within the smart console itself? Well, this is stuff that we need to figure out. And the best way to figure out stuff is just to try to break stuff and see what happens. And then you learn. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.